Hey everyone, this is Mark from Red Arrow Industries, here for another To The Point tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll go over how you can easily recreate a camera racking in and out of focus in Boris Red. So I have this close-up shot of someone scooping up some paint on my timeline. It's already a pretty interesting shot, but to spice things up even more, I'll add in a cool rack focus at the beginning. To start, add the Boris Red filter to the clip and launch Boris Red. The first element I'll add is the blur. So, right click on the timeline window, go to New Filter, Colors and Blurs, and select Gaussian Blur. I'm going to make this a relatively quick rack focus, so I'll go maybe 15 frames over and add a keyframe to my blur. But note that you can make this effect last as long as you need it to. Setting my first keyframe's horizontal blur to a decelerate interpolation, I'll crank this up some to get it out of focus. Right about there. Now, going to my second keyframe, I'll set this interpolation to hold, then put it back down to zero. Previewing this, the decelerated blur gives a nice natural feel to someone setting their focus, but we're not quite done yet. So, a majority of lenses out there have what they call lens breathing, which refers to a slight zoom in and out that occurs to your framing as you change the focus on your lens. Like this. So in order to really mimic the rack focus from a camera, let's also add in a subtle zoom out by going 15 frames over on my video layer, adding a second keyframe, and then on my first keyframe, using a decelerate interpolation again to bring my scale up a bit, and then going back to 100% with an interpolation on hold for my second keyframe. Now, the rack focus feels much more realistic. You can consider also doing the opposite at the end of your shot to make it go out of focus, but make sure you do a small zoom in instead of a zoom out. And again, you can make this effect last as long as you need it to in order to have it match the style of your edit. Thanks for watching! If you have any questions about this tutorial, feel free to comment below. And if you want to watch more of our tutorials, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then check us out on our Facebook page, Red Arrow Industries, or at our website at redarrowindustries.com.